All right, guys, welcome back to Pappy's Keepers. Um, today I'm going to try something. I tried to go get some wax worms on just to have a day of catching bluegill and maybe some little bass to uh, for an aquarium. But uh, the, when I got to the um, bait shop, it's they said that the wax worms have been dying in transit, so they don't know when they're going to get them back in. And it sounds kind of weird. They were out of bull minnows I was going to use them because they're a little bit cheaper than the shiners but they were all out of them so I had to wind up getting a dozen large shiners a dozen small shiners I'm at the little pond where they're not huge in here but I could not get them to bite on shiners or minnows of any kind I had one hit let me that's a little bit lie I had one hit and he was only about six inches long and they're they're not big in here I think the biggest one I saw swimming around was maybe ten inches I don't know if that's the biggest one in here. It's just a little drain. It's just like my other ditch. Only that one's better than this one. <laughs> this one's literally a small ditch. And you'll see it when I, I start over there filming if I uh, catch anything. But if not, I'm going to jump over to the other place that I, um, from the last video, called the New Pond. And um, yep, if I catch anything, you'll see this video. So just stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Let's get out there. As you can see, this is the ditch I was just talking about. I mean, it's long, but it's probably only about maybe 20 feet wide, maybe. It is a little low, and of course you can see how steep the banks are, so uh, I probably won't be standing on the bank per se. I'll be up on the hill a little bit, but I don't know. I'm going to see if something happens. If not, I'll go to the other place. Oops. Can I get it near that big bass without spooking it? It might come up from behind. The sucker didn't even. That's all he did was turn real quick toward it. He's coming back to investigate. The one grabbed him. I got a little taker. Surprised. Look at it. He was almost the same size as the daggone bluegill. I mean, um, shiner. All right, buddy. Thank you. Well, at least I had one, a couple of them that were interested. Let me go get my little bucket. I'll be back. Because unfortunately, the one I just had. I want to, uh, should have done it before I started fishing, but I had to scoop some water into a bucket. And while I was scooping, he jumped out and got loose. So, let's see if any of his buddies want to recreate that for me. All right, guys, I think I'm going to move. All right, you stay tuned. Guys, I've made it to the other spot. And luckily, the trail that I cut is still somewhat there. Didn't have to go high-stepping over a lot of stuff. Right now, I'm at this drain pipe here. Got a real lively mineral on there, or shiner. I think I'm going to have to take it down some, though. That was a baby bass already looking at. I don't want you, I want your mama. I want to take it down some. Maybe something will come out of the pipe. But 
my best bet's gonna be over by the tree. Let's, let's venture forth. Wipe that. I got him, at least for now. Alright, I got this six pound test, I think it is, so I know he's not a monster, but I'm using a very small hook too. Not too bad, little guy. Big guy, been caught before. I think the only other place they might be hanging out is over at that in that corner over there. Well, at least some of them. It does have a little bit of shade, and just out of uh, from them, you know, living here. They know that certain parts of the day, that tree right there is going to cast a shadow. I don't like this one right here. This one pretty much all day, but. That one should be casting a shadow. And they got like a willow tree over there. I might sneak underneath this tree here and put it underneath that willow tree. See if there's something hanging out. Cut it out. Let me go over there and put it underneath that willow tree real quick. If that's what it is. See, see this other bit of shade that's here. There's a drain pipe right there. I can actually, I do see a fish hanging out. Right there where I threw it. Didn't phase him whatsoever. Actually, I can see a couple of them hanging out. The Oop, he went down. About the same size as the other one. I gotta go over and get my... Oh, no, I don't have to go over there. They're on my back. There you are, mister. Be a good little patient. Open up and say, ah. That's easy. There you go, nice little size. Bass just shot out and grabbed him, but like he must have missed him. The bobber didn't go down or nothing, but I did see his his whole body go past underneath the water with these polarized glasses. So as long as he does that little flutter action, he may draw him back in like that. Whoop. He got off. Missed it by that much. But I'm counting him. I'm counting him for today. Even though I didn't get a hand on him. Ah, you know what? Never mind. I didn't touch him. But I will put him in my the ones that got away videos at the end of the year. <laughs> I 
Well, oh, had a bluegill. Got a bluegill on oh, the tiny shiner or a sunfish, whatever you want to call these things. Yes, you are one of my children in the fisher realm. Thank you very much. I don't know where that shiner dropped that, but I'll have to get another little. Shiner. Did he get me? No, he didn't get him. Let's see if you're still aggressive. I think he got me that time. No, he's still there. My uh, shiner, that is. He must be just big enough to take it under, but not big enough to put his mouth around the hook. Hey, there he goes again, if that's the same one. I oh, got him that time. Thick little sucker. Pretty nice looking little bluegill. Thanks, bub. All right, guys, I'm back at the truck. I want to thank you for watching if you stayed with me this long. That's about it for me today. Um, you know, like, like I said, and I will say, I'm trying other places this year. I'm still going to go to ditch, but I'm going to try to go to new places this year and we're going we're to try for some uh some more snakehead of course bass a bluegill day i got to get back to that little thing that i started at earlier today to see if i can catch anything out of there i don't know why they don't go after shiners but they got to go after something wax worms or something but like i said my uh, local bait shop said that their uh stock has been dying on the way to the, the location so they stopped doing her from ordering from them for now. So I gotta find another place to get wax worms or I might just dig up some earthworms. So either way, I'm gonna go back and see. I gotta get them to bite something. But other, other than that guys, thanks for watching. Um, thanks for sticking with, sticking with me, dealing with me. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching guys. I know I keep saying it, but I really appreciate it. And until then, keep rolling with the changes guys. Have a good day. Thanks for watching.